Ecclesiastes chapter 1 The words of Koaleth, son of David, sovereign in Jerusalem. Futility, futility, says Koaleth. Futility, futility. All is futile. What does man gain from all his labor in which he toils under the sun? A generation passes away and a generation comes, but the earth stands forever. The sun also rises, and the sun goes, and hurries back to the place where it arose. Going to the south, and turning around to the north, turning, turning, and on its rounds the wind returns. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea never overflows. To the place from which the rivers come, there they return again. All matters are wearisome. No one is able to speak of it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. What has been is what shall be. What has been done is what shall be done. And there is none new under the sun. Is there a matter of which it is said, See, this is new. It was here already, long ago. There is no remembrance of former ones, nor is there any remembrance of those that are to come by those who come later on. I, Koaleth, was sovereign over Israel in Jerusalem, and I applied my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all that has been done under the Shamayim, this evil task Elohim has given to the sons of man to be humbled by it. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun and see all was futile and feeding on wind. The crooked could not be straightened and what is lacking could not be counted. So I spoke to my heart, saying, See, I have attained greatness and have gained more wisdom than all who were before me in Jerusalem. And my heart has seen much wisdom and knowledge. And I applied my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I know that this too is feeding on wind. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he who increases knowledge increases suffering. I said in my heart, Come now, let me try you with rejoicing and find out what is good. But see, that too was futile. I said to laughter, It is madness, and of rejoicing, what does it do? I searched in my heart how to stimulate my body with wine while guiding my heart with wisdom and how to lay hold on folly until I could see what was good for the sons of men to do under the Shamayim all the days of their lives. I made my works great. I built myself houses and I planted vineyards for myself. I made gardens and parks for myself and I planted all kinds of fruit trees in them. I made pools of water for myself to water them a plantation of growing trees. I bought male and female servants and I came to have sons of the household. Also, I had greater possessions of herds and flocks with all who were before me in Jerusalem. I also gathered for myself silver and gold and the treasures of sovereigns and of the provinces. I provided male and female singers for myself and the pleasures of men, a woman and women. Thus, I became great and increased more than all who were before me in Jerusalem. Also, my wisdom remained with me and all that my eyes desired I did not keep from them. I did not withhold my heart from any pleasure, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor, and this was my portion 
from all my labor. But when I looked on all the works that my hands had done, and on the labor in which I had toiled, see, all was futile, and feeding on wind, and there was no gain under the sun. And I turned myself to look at wisdom, and madness, and folly. For what would the man do who comes after the sovereign? But what already has been done? Then I saw that wisdom is better than folly, as light is better than darkness. The wise one's eyes are in his head, but the fool walks in darkness. And I also knew that one event befalls them all. And I said in my heart, as the event of the fool, even so it befalls me. And why was I then more wise? Then I said in my heart, this also is futile, for there is no more lasting remembrance of the wise man than of the fool, since in the days to come all is forgotten. And how does a wise man die with the fool? And I hated life, because the work that was done under the sun was evil on me, and all is futile in feeding on wind. And I hated all my labor in which I had toiled under the sun, because I leave it to a man who would come after me. And who knows whether he is wise or foolish. Yet he shall rule over all my labor in which I toiled, and in which I have shown myself wise under the sun. That too is futile. So I turned my heart and despaired of all the labor in which I had toiled under the sun. For a man might labor with wisdom, knowledge, and skill, yet he leaves his heritage to a man who has not labored for it. That too is futile and a great evil. For what does a man get for all his labor and strain of his heart with which he has toiled under the sun? For all his days are suffering and his work grievous, even in the night his heart takes no rest. That too is futile. A man could do no better but to eat and drink and enjoy himself in his labor. That too, I saw, was from the hand of Elohim. For who eats or who finds enjoyment without him? For he gives wisdom and knowledge and joy to a man who is good in his eyes. But to the sinner, he gives the task of gathering and collecting to give to the good before Elohim. That too is futile and feeding on the wind. Amen and Amen.